With 70% of the Earth's surface covered by water, there are many fish that not only provide a sustenance, but are also fun to watch and at times cute. But then there are fish inhabiting the oceans, lakes, and rivers that you should probably keep your distance from. So stick with the video till the end to know the complete details, because you may not know just how dangerous fish can be. Now let's begin! Kandiru the Amazon River is home to a variety of scaleless fish. The Kandiru fish is one of them, and it only wants one thing blood. Yes, you heard that correctly. It's a fish that feeds on blood. A translucent eel like creature, no more than about 2.5 centimeters in length. This little fish can be spotted nibbling away at the gill cavities of larger fish. And believe it or not, this isn't even the most frightening part. Humans have been known to be attacked by the Kandiru. It reportedly enters the body via the urethra, where it causes inflammation, agony, hemorrhages, and even death in the unfortunate victim. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Moray Eel The body of a moray eel is long and slender, resembling that of a snake. But they are not reptiles. They are actual fish. The moray eel's color ranges from black to yellowish-brown. Their bodies are pallid on the inside. The dorsal fin of the moray eel is long and runs from the head to the tail. When agitated, the moray eel, one of the most hazardous fish in the sea, is known to turn violent and attack humans. The jaws of this eel are armed with strong, sharp teeth, allowing them to grip their victim and inflict devastating wounds. These come in over 80 different species. They like tropical and subtropical climates with shallow water where they may hide among the rocks and reefs and are usually found in Egypt, Belize, and Mexico. So if you're planning to visit any of these places, do remember to check the itinerary and give them a wide berth. Piranha For all their famous viciousness, the majority of piranha species never reach a length of more than 60 centimeters. The colors range from silvery with orange undersides to nearly black. They may look ordinary from the outside but are among the most well-known and dangerous fish on the planet. After all, looks can be deceptive. Piranhas frequently appear in films as either a means of assassinating a bad guy or as the villains themselves. Piranhas have a reputation for being dangerous and for good reason. Piranhas are known for the razor-sharp teeth and can bite at a force of 20 to 30 times their own body weight. As a result, even the largest animals can be crushed in a matter of minutes. And because of their proclivity for traveling and attacking in vast swarms, it's always advisable to stay away from them. Goliath Tigerfish The Goliath Tigerfish has the appearance of a normal fish on steroids. The Goliath Tigerfish is considered by many fish enthusiasts to be America's most dangerous fish and arguably the most terrifyingly spectacular freshwater fish on the planet. It can grow to be more than 1.8 meters long and weigh more than 70 kilograms. Its predatory power is demonstrated by its sturdy and powerful physiognomy. It's four times the size of a piranha, with a row of sharp jag teeth protruding from its mouth. Its massive mouth, which is lined with razor-sharp teeth, is capable of annihilating its victim. This fish has caused innumerable human mutilations and deaths as a result of all of this. So if you ever come across one of these, best to say a prayer and swim as if your life depends on it. Because it will. Fugu the fugu is also known as pufferfish because of its capacity to bloat with water when threatened. It can acquire an almost perfect spherical shape depending on the species. Due to their slow and unimpressive swimming ability, blowing up is their best strategy of defense against predators. Blowing up and, well, poison. The fugu has poison in several parts of its body, including the skin, liver, and entrails. This fish is deadly to the point of killing 30 people. It contains tetrodotoxin, which is 25 times more toxic than cyanide. As a result, this species is considered one of the most dangerous fish on the planet. Surprisingly, in Japanese cuisine, the cute but poisonous fugu is greatly prized. Electric Eel The electric eel is a long South American fish that stuns its prey with a severe electric shock. The electric eel can reach a length of 2.75 meters and a weight of 22 kilograms. It has a flattened head and a thin snake-like body and thick scaleless skin that ranges in hue, from dark gray to brown with a yellow-orange underside. The electric eel, like other eel-shaped fish, lacks pelvic fins. It lacks dorsal fins and has a tiny or reduced caudal fin, 
It enjoys slow-moving fresh water where it can surface every few minutes to sip air, as it's generally sluggish. An electric eel's charge is roughly 330 to 650 volts, which is powerful enough to jolt a human. Alternatively, they might be used to power the starship to Mars if Elon Musk one day decides to reply to our emails. Fingers crossed. Great Barracuda One of the most noticeable qualities of the Great Barracuda is the incredible speed at which they strike their victim. A Barracuda can reach incredible speeds in a short amount of time. They can accelerate from 0 to 90 km per hour in a single blast of their strong tail. Furthermore, this fish is regarded as the tiger of the oceans, both for its size and for its demonstrated hostility towards humans. With a mouthful of massive razor-sharp teeth, this tomahawk missile of a fish is more than capable of causing significant injury to any unsuspecting swimmer. Stingray Stingrays are generally thought to be peaceful fish that only attack in self-defense. In fact, stepping on a ray lurking under the sand in the shallows is one of the most common injuries inflicted on humans. However, because the sting is very sharp and barbed, when it's removed from the wound, it can cause substantial damage. In certain situations, the sting will break off in the wound, exposing the victim to the venom for longer periods of time and increasing the risk of infection, which can be fatal, as was the case with Australian crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. In 2006, while photographing a 2-meter stingray, he was fatally stabbed in the heart. Rest in peace, Steve. We miss you terribly. Needlefish A brief glance at the slender-looking gentleman reveals the source of the fish's name. The needlefish's streamlined design allows them to sprint through the water at speeds of up to 60 km per hour in pursuit of their meal. They are one of the most dangerous fish on the planet due to their mix of speed and bony razor-sharp beaks. It's hard to believe, especially because this is a fish you've probably never heard of. Yet statistics and a few terrifying events support the allegation. Divers have been killed on two occasions after being impaled in the heart by the fish, and others have died after being struck in the neck. There have also been numerous significant injuries reported. Stonefish This may well be one of the world's ugliest fish, but don't be deceived by its looks. This species is superbly camouflaged amid the rocks, as its name implies, and is one of the most hazardous animals in the marine environment. It's thought to be the world's most toxic fish. Its venom is comparable to that of a cobra and affects the neurological system of those who are bitten. When it feels threatened, it erupts with 13 spines. Its bite can also result in loss of consciousness and possibly cardiac arrest. As the saying goes, appearances can be deceiving. And in the case of this fish, they can be deadly. Great White Shark The Great White Shark is one of the most well-known and powerful predators on the planet, so it scarcely requires an introduction. And if you don't know that, it's either because you've never seen Jaws or because you've never seen footage of Great White Sharks breaching like whales. Except unlike whales, they don't breach to make humans go, oh look at that beautiful shark! They breach to show humans who the true apex predator is. In the event of an assault, the great white shark will usually bite its prey once and then flee. In cases when the bite is very massive, there could be major tissue or organ damage, which could lead to the victim's death. Tiger Shark Though we prefer to hold the great white responsible for every shark attack we've ever heard of, great whites aren't the only sharks who attack humans. Tiger sharks are also quite lethal. In fact, they are the world's second most dangerous shark. The issue with tiger sharks is mostly one of proximity. They attack humans because humans want to swim in the same waters as tiger sharks. Sharks that reside in deeper waters don't pose as big of a threat to humans because we don't get in their way very often. If we were foolish enough to do so, they'd go all out to attack us. Red Lionfish the poisonous fin spines of the red lionfish are known for their ability to cause painful, though rarely deadly, puncture wounds. The fish have huge pectoral fins and elongated dorsal fin spines, and each species has its own zebra-like striping pattern. When disturbed, the fish will expand their fins and attack with their dorsal spines if they are aggravated further. To catch its prey, mostly fish and shrimp, it uses camouflage and lightning-fast reflexes. The sting of a lionfish on a human would not be lethal, but it would be exceedingly painful and could induce nausea and respiratory problems. Box Jellyfish 
The box jellyfish is one of the most venomous marine animals and is regarded as one of the most dangerous fish in the ocean. All box jellies share some common features such as a square bell with tentacles that attach to the bell's corners among other traits. Its poison can kill you in a matter of minutes, and if you're lucky enough to survive, the scars left by its sting will last a lifetime. The box jellyfish toxin attacks are especially dangerous for human heart activity. When attacked, the victim will start to have a very low heart rate, excruciating stings, and will most likely die. Spotfin Lionfish The red lionfish and the spotfin lionfish are similar. Its species name comes from the unique appendages over each eye that is comparable to antennae. It also has very long free moving white spines on its dorsal and pectoral fins, and it's the only lionfish with a blue coloration. The spotfin lionfish's body is almost totally toxic. Its brown and white stripes, long and stunning pectoral fins, and angry disposition all appear to say, do not touch, and rightfully so. Venom is ejected by the spotfin lionfish's 18 sharp dorsal fins, which are a highly effective defense mechanism. This fish uses its ability to disguise and quickly react to catch its prey. The sting of a lionfish can be exceedingly unpleasant for humans, causing nausea and breathing issues, but it's unlikely to be lethal. Uranoscopidae This venomous species hunts for food in shallow waters, burying itself in the sand. It's one of the world's ugliest fish, and is capable of delivering a 50-volt defensive electric shock. The stargazer fish is another name for it. They range in size from 18 to 30 centimeters. They have two long deadly spines on their pectoral fins. Though they don't go out of their way to harm humans, it's advisable to remain at a safe distance because you never know what can irritate them enough to try to shock or poison you. Somehow, us humans seem known to be experts at irritating other creatures. Crown of Thorns Sea Star The Crown of Thorns Sea Star has a biblical name and these creatures can spread like a plague across coral reefs. A single female with poisonous pines can lay up to 100 million eggs every year. During outbreaks, sea stars can completely devastate reefs in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It also makes a neurotoxin that can be released by its pines. Not only are the wounds themselves dangerous, but the neurotoxicity can also cause nausea and vomiting, as well as an intense stinging sensation that can persist for hours. The region around the wound often develops a dark blue color and swells, which can last for weeks. The spines themselves may become detached and embedded in the skin. This can result in infection as well as an increase in toxicity. It's no surprise that many scuba divers go to great lengths to kill them. Portuguese Man of War The deadly Portuguese Man of War is sometimes mistaken for a jellyfish by those unfamiliar with its biology. It's not only not a jellyfish, but it's also not an it, but rather a them. The Portuguese Man of War is a siphonophore a type of animal that consists of a colony of organisms that act together. Their long, thin tendrils can reach a length of 165 feet below the surface, though 30 feet is more common. They're encrusted with venom-filled nematocysts, which are employed to paralyze and kill fish and other tiny animals. A man of war sting is incredibly painful for humans, yet it's rarely fatal. Interestingly, even dead man of war washed ashore on the beach can sting. Someone's taken their name very seriously. Blue Ringed Octopus The Blue Ringed Octopus, one half of a lethal duo, has an unusual symbiotic interaction with bacteria colonies that live in its salivary glands. The bacteria create powerful neurotoxins that may kill a human in a matter of minutes but have no effect on the octopus. The octopus' poisonous saliva, injected through shells cracked with its bird-like beak, also aids in the digestion of crabs and mollusks. Its venom is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide and this golf ball-sized powerhouse packs enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. Whoa! Scorpionfish The huge scorpionfish family lives on the seafloor, where it blends perfectly with its surroundings and hunts in ambush. Their feathery fins or skin flaps help them blend in with the coral around them. Some scorpionfish are dull in color, with mottled down or yellow spots, while others are bright red or orange, making them nearly invisible when hiding behind rocks or reefs. These wait-and-see predators use such great camouflage that many of their prey are likely unaware of their presence. Scorpionfish are also equipped with poisonous pines. A sting from one of these pines can be potentially fatal to other animals and extremely painful to humans. Textile Cone Snail 
While the textile cone snail is not exactly a fish, it deserves to be included on this list because it's one of the most venomous sea species. Coastal seas off the coast of Australia, Hawaii, French Polynesia, Eastern Africa, the Red Sea and the Indo-Pacific region are home to the snail. A single textile cone snail can kill up to 20 adults with its venom. Worse, its sting has no anti-venom, and it can kill a person in a matter of minutes. Because of its slow movement, the snail may not appear to be a threat at first, but it will be lethal when it strikes. The majority of human deaths from the textile cone snail are caused by individuals picking them up on the beach or standing on them in the water by accident. Bull Route Also referred to as the freshwater stonefish, it's an ugly yet dangerous fish mostly found in eastern Australia. Though not as dangerous as the stonefish discussed earlier, the bull route is nonetheless dangerous. The bull route has a big head and an operculum with seven spines. It has a large mouth and protruding lower jaw. Small scales cover the body and the head is scaleless. The venom glands in a bull route's dorsal, anal, and pelvic spines should be handled with extreme caution. The pain of a puncture wound from one of these spines is terrible, and it may take anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes for the pain to subside. That's all for today, folks. We hope you found the video informative and fun to watch. Also, tell us in the comment section your views about the most dangerous fish in the world. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon next to it for regular updates. Goodbye!